the hell? What 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 the hell? In this video, we're gonna tell you the truth about pike fishing. Swimming away with it in his mouth, so you strike when you think you're ready, Tom. I think that's about ready. Yeah. I wonder if people who go dead baiting have got any friends. Right then, Sean, pass me a law. Stop yourself right there now, Thomas. I told you, we're not going law fishing today. We're going dead baiting. Look, I've got some stinky ass dead baits. <laughs> I do bait. remember you saying about the dead baits and uh, I have brought some. They've been in my freezer for ages. I told you I was getting some dead baits. Yeah, I know. I just wanted to get rid of these from the freezer. All so, right. uh, All right, what have you got then? They're a bit stinky. Mate. Got the Captain Bird's eyes. Are you are you serious? Yeah. These are dead baits, a fish. Mate. I think they're cod. We'll use yours then. Grab the stuff and get down there. All right then, mate, so we're on the dead baits today. Mate, what are we dead baiting for? Look, look mate, there's no denying some big mamas come out on dead baits. Yeah, just, I know. Just no denying it. And I've been doing a bit of dead baiting recently. Oh, I've been dead baiting. been having a bit own, of a yeah? dabble, eh? Oh, I've had about three or four sessions, and I've had some joy, mate. You're joking. Oh, I have had some joy, and I've had a couple of big ones on. I've not landed the big ones, though, obviously. Oh, they, yeah, They were the ones yeah. that got away, you 20s. know what I mean? Uh, 25s, maybe. We do a lot of lure fishing, it's about time we try the dead bait. Do you know, Come on. mate, I don't even think if I've ever caught on a dead bait. You've never caught on a dead bait? I don't think so, no. You take the first dead bait pike. All right then. Right, what do I think? First dead bait, Guaranteed. Go, uh, what you say? <laughs> for dead baits, we need some dead baits, don't we? I've got some juicy dead baits for you, mate. You can leave your fish fingers, they're not going to do no good. Well, I imagine, actually. But no, I've got some dead baits for you, all right. Oh, yeah. Doing the surgery. Right, get your pants down. I mean, uh, I got some dead baits. <laughs> this is classic Sean, this is. What do you mean it's classic Sean? Sean was the kid that like got dirty as a kid and started crying and needed to wash his hands because <laughs> he had dirt on it. Am I right? At one point, maybe, yeah. Oh, my hands are dirty. I fell in a rock pool once when I was a kid and cried my eyes out. Uh, I've got some gloves anyway, because the bait stinks, mate. It smells worse than your breath. No, maybe not that bad, but... All right, it all right, I can smell your breath from here. Show right. me the baits. All right, all right. So, we got some mackerels. And some roach. And some roach. Yep. What we need to do at one point, mate, we've done a bit of uh, mackerel fishing in Dorset. We need to catch them and stock up, don't we? And stick them in a freezer for the winter, yeah? yeah? For the winter. Mate, these are some juicy-ass looking mackerel. They've got the heads taken off. I've had some, I've heard some superstition recently about dead baiting, that some pike won't take a dead bait with the, with the fish's head on. I've heard that the pike won't take the fish. <laughs> I think we'll put mackerel on one rod and a roach on the other. The mackerel is, you know, super oily, yeah, really yeah. juicy, but it's not their natural, you know, the mackerel don't come through here on a Tuesday. They do. Uh, I've well, seen them. Oh, have you? Yeah. Charles. Yeah. Schools. Chino was after him the other yeah, day. Oh yeah, chasing him up the river. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jumping out and everything. Oh, so you got a bit of a two stinger going on there. I've or got two trebles, they're not stingers, are they? I've got a very mixed set. This this is a really nice wire tray stinger thing going on because I've got a hook at the top here. Oh yeah. Which is for taking the weight of the cast. Of the dead bait and the cast, yep. Nice. And then these ones are obviously presented to strike into the pipe. Okay. I will say this, it's much easier to fish with a frozen dead bait than it is like a, a non-frozen fish because it's really hard to get them hooks in there. Won't the pike get a little bit frost, but frost lip? It won't be long before it's getting frost, but as this is defrosting in the water, Thomas, right, okay. all the juices just... Ah, uh, right, it's part of the tactics, yeah. Part of the tactics, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. so I'm going to get this one cast out. This okay. is our right hand swim rod. What I'll do, Sean, is I'll film you casting out. Yeah, you do that, mate. All right. I'll wait there, I'm stuck in a tree. Double on that. So as far as bite indication goes, right, the floats are our main port of call. They're gonna what's gonna really visually be able to tell if there's a pike yeah. whipping it away. The alarms are like an extra, yo, well, you're not paying attention, bleep, bleep, bleep. Yeah, yeah, so when you're sitting over there texting your girlfriend, you'll see the... Uh, oh, beep, 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 yep, beep. yep, that's yeah, exactly what. So when I'm scrolling, 
through Snag Bro TikTok. <laughs> and the Snag Bro. He won't, guys, if he texts his girlfriend. <laughs> I can feel my phone vibrating now. So I'll be back in a sec. Bit of Rocho. First part that comes is yours. Right, I've got to get ready then, haven't I? Yeah, yeah. Get your boots tied up and your uh, and your hat on correctly. Yeah, we'll do. So, what do people do, Sean, when they're dead baiting? Right, so the dead baits are in, and I'm look, I'm, I'm pretty hopeful. I'm th I think as soon as they start defrosting, which is not going to be long, we're going to start getting some bites. So let's see if we can change Tom's mind about pike fishing a little bit, because you know the truth is about pike fishing is genuinely, pike will eat anything. In one of our previous videos up there in the top of the screen, I actually caught on this stretch on a really strange bait. They will eat anything, guys and a juicy dead bait, if they fancy it, they'll grab it. Tom's gonna change his mind about this. You wait and see. This dead bait and stuff, I tell you. It's not for me. Boring. Right, let's move this bait over. Good God, it's been savaged. You ever seen crayfish in here? No. Like half of it's missing, the half that was like showing. Gnarly man. Go check the hats out in the store guys. We're gonna put an offer on them. Tom, give me an offer code. Fish fingers. Fish fingers, 10% off the beanies in the store, snagbro.com. Did we bring a law rod with us? No. Huh. Of course not, Thomas, we're dead baiting. Yeah, no, I was just, uh, I was just wondering. Just gonna go for a wee, mate. Right, mate. I'll tell you what, this dead baiting's a bit... <laughs> Sean's on it, though. He's like, come on, go on, mate, we'll get one. We'll get a big one. I don't give a... I think we should just pack the dead bait gear away and get the laws out, you know what I mean? Law is pure. Comment if you're with me. Team Tom, law is pure. He'd be happy sitting here till six o'clock tonight. I'm gonna start moaning. I'm going to moan our way out of this dead bait session. Check this moaning out. Bloody hell, Sean, you might as well put that baguette on. Got more chance of catching me that, haven't we? I wonder if people who go dead baiting have got any friends. Dead baiters think they're the sickest geezers going. This is a really good idea, Sean, dead baiting. What is the matter with you? you nothing, no. nothing, I'm fine, I'm just... No patience. Still nothing. I'll tell you what, I'm really glad that I got out of bed at five o'clock this morning to go dead baiting. It's been five minutes since you last said something about <laughs> all right, it. All right, mate, all give right. Give it five seconds. Calm please. down a bit. Just give it a chance. Something's chewing that, mate. I oh, know, something's having it, isn't it? Let's have a look and see if it's chewed. Should we have a look, yeah? Yeah, go on. Right. Give it a little twitch, as you said oh, before. Yeah. Go on. That's one of my top tips. For top tips. Videos, Tom, is when you're dead baiting, because all the people watching this video are going to be dead baiting. Yeah, 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 dead baiters. Because of the same our success, you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is when you retrieve your dead baiting, it's a love. Aye, right. So if there's a pike sitting next to it, you know. That would have been cool if one would have snapped it there. Ooh. Oh. You got movement on that one? Hmm, flow just went under. Oh. Now this is a pike. Stand by. Right, get the rod in your hands ready. Obviously he's swimming away with it in his mouth, so you strike when you think you're ready, Tom. I think that's about ready. Yeah. Yeah, fish on. Yes, Thomas. All right, now get your 
Oh. Be gentle with him. He doesn't even know he's hooked. Oh! Right, and he says, be gentle with him. Yeah. Come on, Tom. <laughs> yeah! Ooh. Oh, yes, yes, dead First bite, dead boy. bite, Pike. Brilliant. Done it! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good eyes on the float there. Thank buddy. you very much, son. Thank you very much. Yes, get in. He's not a bad one, is he? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well then, let's have a look at my first dead bait pike. Oh, he's not a bad one, mate. Woo, whoa, he just splashed me. Not a bad one. Right, let's get him unhooked. Woo, -hoo. that's easy. Oh, it's treble in there. Nice, mate, nice. Excellent. Okay. Oh, that's not a bad fish. That's bite, not a bad mate. fish, is it, mate? It's not bad at all. <laughs> are we going for a phone pick? We are, we're going for a phone pick. Stand by. I'm too close, eh? Pike's too big. Well done, Tom, mate. Beautiful. Well done. Mate, the strike, it was perfect. You was guided. It was fantastic. <laughs> I'll put it on your tab. Right, let's get him back in. But uh, first October pike as well. Yes, sir. Uh, Fantastic. Well done, Season's man. open now, eh? So what are you thinking about dead baiting now, kid? Um, yeah. It's all right. It's not too bad, is it? Not too bad, eh? Not too bad. Oh, Chris in the new net as well, mate. That's always a pleasure to Chris in the new net, eh? Just giving him a wee rest, eh? Giving him a wee rest, yeah. I think this time of year, like, just hits October. And because we fish for pike all year round, we're still in the rest phase, aren't we? When really, I could just throw him over there and he'd be staring. No, I reckon you're yeah. doing the right thing, mate. I think so yeah, too, as well. I mean. Do you know what I ordered after our last video? Because I had that um, bad accident with that pike. What? I ordered some fish care. Yeah, did you? Yeah, yeah. Ain't got it on me like, but uh, I ordered it. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm made up for you, mate. I really am made Thanks. up for you. I appreciate it. No problem, Adam. Uh, it's a pleasure putting you on your first pike. Dead bait pike. Let's get that straight. Right then. Do you know what I don't like about riverbanks? Is you can't hand artis release. Artistically release the fish. You have to artistically net release. So here we go. All right. It's my first net release in a while. Okay. You ready? All right. So get his head over there. Oh, he's... Well, he's ready. He is certainly ready. Mate, you're letting the side down here. Yeah, no, no, I'm not. I'm not. Here we go. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. Actually. See the little tail yeah, flick? Yeah, like yeah. We'll slow mo that. Thanks. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Well, I've got to be honest, I was losing the faith a little bit. I think you could tell. But I'm happy that we caught right there. So I think we should... Let me stop you right there. Let's put the dead baits away. And let's go and get the lure rods. Because I know that's what you was about to say anyway. No, I wasn't. Um, I was going to say let's stay dead baiting all no, day. No, this way, it's my idea. Okay, right, okay. So, I think we should put the dead baits away and go and get the rods yeah. out. Yeah. Do you like my new net? Yeah, it's nice. It's all right, isn't it? Where'd you get that from? I like this little handle. When I was releasing it, when you're like lifting the rod up, use this handle. You know what that net's good for? What? A boat. Boat, eh? Oh, do you know what? Or deep banks like that? Boat, eh? Might have to do two trips. Isn't it the best thing about fishing? Do you know what I love? Thought you coming to kiss me then. <laughs> you know what I love? Lugging gear. Do you? It's my favourite thing in the world. Wait for it, you ready? Do it again. Oh. Right, the load. Oh. 
I'm fully ready to go walking back with all this stuff now. I just don't know what to pick up first. What's Tom actually carrying? What is he actually carrying? <sighs> Favourite part. <sighs> and here he is here on the last leg of the Great British Tackle Race and he's going on the incline. He's ready to go. The rest of the stuff's back there for you to get back. And here we are, we're off. I'll go get the rest of the stuff. Oh, he's off, he's off there. He's off on the final furlong. The rest of the stuff's back here for me to uh, carry. See, you, you, had, you see me, I had two rods, a net, a chair, the, my camera who's bigger than Sean. And Sean had a cup of tea and the dead bites in his hand is like the rest of the gears here. Sound. Jesus. Oh yeah. That's it. Make sure you bring your 10 gallon of water. Right. It's gonna be somewhere where I can hide from Tom. Here he comes. That's Excuse you. me, sir! I seen you up there earlier. Did you have a moment to talk about your car's extended warranty? I seen you. I was like, who's that behind me? He's hiding behind the bush. Awareness, you oh, see. I'm sweating more from hiding. Yeah. Surely there's got to be a better way to carry this milk rather than finger. No, you've got a really good finger in there, though, mate. See that one finger there? It's all the way in. Mate, all I need is the one finger. That's all I need. You carried some else on that finger though. Oh yeah, carried five other things, <laughs> couldn't I? Yeah. Oh, you're right with that milk there. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right with it, yeah. Woo! <laughs> right then, we're moving on to the law fishing segment, which I love law fishing. Never do any dead baiting. That was my first time dead baiting. So, laws. Another truth about pike fishing is when it comes to laws, you need to cover all grounds. So, come a bit closer, come a bit closer. As you can see here, right, this is a hard bait with a paddle tail. This is a soft bait with a paddle tail with an extra rattle on. This is a jerk bait that will stay higher in the water, really rattly. This is a jig fly, as you've seen in the previous videos, that will just go through loads of attraction. You can use a curly tail one. You can use a hard bait with a little bill on the top that will give it a little action and stay at like one metre deep. So Sean, what are you thinking about this venue? We want to be fishing about a metre and a half down in the water. What are you thinking? That one right there. This one? Yep, you got it. You want that one? I want it. You want that colour? I want it. Do you want that colour? Yep. Flankers. Oh, oh. rattle. Do you know what, mate? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go for the. I think this is either the. You're gonna get that off there, or you're gonna leave it there. Any sliders? There. Oh yeah, watch them sliders, mate. Yeah. Like, oh. So these are our law of choices. Two flankers, mate. They're so deadly. They're so noisy. That's great. They just present themselves perfectly. I'm so yeah. excited to go and use them, mate. But let's get these in a box as well. Bring them with us, just in case we want to change. Yep. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's go lure fishing and catch some pike on Let's the go. Can you uh, pick my sliders up first, please? Yes, I am. <sighs> right, let's do a transition to the swim. Right then, mate. Take your rod. Thank you very much, sir. And so, deal is now, another truth, when you're lure fishing, cover as much water as you can. So, 10 casts in each swim, Sean. See if we can get an, an active, hungry pike, yeah? That sounds good to me, mate. Let's go. Can I give a confession here, Tom? Go on. Last time I was out dead baiting. Yeah. I actually threw the lure out, this lure. And, yeah. And um, I had, you know, one of them casts where you cast out, it's a bit of a funny cast, and your hook, gets caught on your trace. Oh yeah. So when it, when you're reeling in, it's literally like... Yeah, yeah, you yeah. always said, it's still... Yeah. One day we'll catch a pike like that. Well, I did. Did you? I genuinely did. It was really like coming in like all 
weird and not properly. No um, way. I've seen a flash in the water and a pipe come and got it. No way, awesome. Well done. Thanks, mate. Oh my god! What the hell? 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 I got snagged on a lily, and then a pike jumped out for it. The highest I've ever seen a pike jump. Big one. It wasn't bad. I'll try and get on this same line I was on before. Yeah, that to that window. Yeah. Ghost hole here. Yeah. Oh! Keep in tension. Yes, back. Oh. oh my god. Yeah. If you I'll give you end. I'm stuck on a stick like that. Yes, it's oh. Oh. oh my god. <sighs> well, <laughs> yes. yes. We got him, we got him. Oh. Wow. I love the pre-ritual of catching a pike, of like putting the mat down, getting the forceps on the side of it, and then seeing the labours. Oh wow. Another nice, jack. Nice, mate. Yeah. This one's got marks all over him, like on the other side. He's like been bitten yeah, by pipe. Yeah, he has, mate. He's well into it. He has. Look at this one on the top of him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right around the side there. Classic when a big pike tries to eat the small one. Look, look how dark he is from above, mate. Yeah. You wouldn't see him, would you? No chance. Awesome. Well done, mate. You really like finesse that swim oh. it's not the easiest is it mate that was a there. difficult uh netting for sure he's thrashing around he's ready to be released so can't do this so gracefully but uh oh come on there you go boy there he is back under the lilies for uh Oh, there's me rod. Snap that clean off. Um, back under the lilies. And, you know, three years ago, four years ago, I wouldn't have fished this swim because I would have went, it's a bit gnarly to land that. I won't bother. I mean, don't get me wrong, mate. It struggled on your own. Oh, yeah. I only did it because I knew yeah. you'd have to get in and yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I nearly considered yeah. putting my foot in that bit, but... Here's where the bank finishes. Yeah, there's a good... There's a good Sean. There's a good Sean in there, definitely. Yeah. Sean's length. Five foot, yeah. Next pie? Yeah, let's go, man. I want to catch one too. Go on, then. What are you waiting for? All right, then, Tom, we have reached the end of the stretch of river. That has been very good to us today. It's been really good to us, man. It has. It's been, do you know what? I've had a really good day today. I don't really like dead bait and i don't like sitting around i like keeping active but it was really fun seeing the float you know and then you just knew when it dipped bomb in the scissors i i look i actually really enjoyed it the final truth the final truth about lure fishing uh, about pike fishing pike fishing not just lure fishing is tom there's only one sure way not to catch a pike and that's to not go fishing not have a lure in the water or a dead bait or a live bait. Ooh. You can't catch them at home. You can't catch them at home. No, no. So, you yeah. know, don't be dismayed by the four month stretches of blanks. We've done it, we've been there. You know, don't be dismayed by blanks after blanks after blanks. It happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Switch up your venues. Switch Canals your venues. are dead in the winter. They are. They're, they're, tough. they're, they're tough as it is anyway. Yeah. So, you know, rivers, they've got a bit more in there, a bit more. You might not catch monsters, but you'll catch bigger ones than from the canal. 
Can't and bigger ones than us, anyway. As you say, mate, your time of your law or your bait in the water, yeah. you get what you put in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, these people are like, oh, I never catch a big pike, but I've been pike fishing once in three weeks. Yeah. I know it's not that accessible for everyone, but no. you know what? Get up at four in the morning and go to the canal on a Sunday. You get home for dinner. Two hour lure fishing session. Yeah. Lure fishing sessions don't need to be long. Neither does a dead bait session. No. We was, you know, when we caught there, we were getting ready to knock it on the head. Well, that's the truth about, about, well, that's the truth about fishing anyway, Tom. Sorry, do it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the truth about snatch marsh. <laughs> well, uh, that's the truth about lure fishing. <laughs> Oh, yeah, bro. Truth about pike fishing, yeah? But yeah. Well, Tom, that's the truth about pike fishing. <laughs> well done, mate. Well done. <laughs> Cheers, mate. I got there in the end. It is. But uh, that's uh, on that bombshell. That's the end of the video. Right then, should we uh, make our way back to the car? Yeah. Yeah, sweet. What are you having for dinner tonight? Uh, I don't know. I might have um, I might have a Chinese or something like that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. What are you having for dinner? Fish finger sandwich, I think. <laughs> so you're saying that that isn't going to work? I, Tom, are you actually taking the piss, mate? Do you no. want to put that away, please? Yeah, no, no, you're right, you're right. Could do with another one on there. No, put it on. Oh.